Hello and welcome to Your City, Your News, where we inform you about issues and topics happening in the city of El Segundo. I'm Michelle Mizell Archer. On March 19th at 11 p.m., El Segundo police officers responded to a call regarding a wild coyote running in between houses. The coyote was spotted in the area of Virginia Street and Pine Avenue, but was not located. The California Department of Fish and Game reports the chances of encountering a coyote will likely increase over the next several months, as they have litters during April and May. If you spot a coyote in your neighborhood, call the El Segundo Police Department at 310-524-2200. The El Segundo Fire Department has a new fire chief. Fire Chief Christopher Donovan officially joined the department on February 22nd. Just happy to be here. Um, very proud of the service of our community and um, of, of the fire department and the firefighters here. And I'm just, again, I'm, I feel very blessed to be selected as the fire chief for the El Segundo Fire Department. Fire Chief Donovan comes here with 27 years of experience and says their focus is to provide the highest level of service to residents. Myself and the members of this department are extremely focused and, and participating at uh, full speed uh, to provide the most uh, exceptional fire and life safety service that we can. Chief Donovan also mentioned that if you have any ideas or suggestions on how they can improve their service, to contact the fire department at 310-524-524. The Skechers Foundation celebrated its seventh annual Skechers Peer-to-Peer -peer Friendship Walk Check Presentation Ceremony at the Shade Hotel in Manhattan Beach. This year, the El Segundo Ed Foundation received a check for $105,000. The foundation presented its largest donation totals in its history of the walk with $434,000. To learn more about the Friendship Foundation or the walk, go to their website at gotfriends.com. El Segundo High School Drama won first place at the Fullerton College High School Theater Festival. 33 students participated in the annual competition, where three El Segundo High School drama students brought home first place for their contemporary humorous ensemble. When we got on stage, we were all very nervous, but just seeing our school there, like just like, you guys got this. like. It really gave us the boost we needed to bring home that trophy for El Segundo. Everybody was just really supportive. Even those who we were going up against, we said good luck to each other, and it was just great. ESHS drama students also performed in several other categories, and the Improv Theater Sports Group made it to the finals. We really know each other well, and we're all supportive of each other, which I think is really cool. They love what they're doing and that their energy will overwhelm the audience and you know that's really the point is to go and have fun and then the, the trophies are the gravy. The drama students next performance will be in Hairspray the musical from April 21st through April 23rd at El Segundo High School. For more information on the musical call 310-497-1768. The El Segundo Bulldogs ranked in the top 8% among competing middle school teams in the Cyber Patriot 8th semifinals. On March 22nd, the El Segundo School Board recognized the students for placing 37th among 460 middle schools in the U.S. and Canada. The competition puts teams of middle and high school students in the position of newly hired IT professionals tasked with managing the network of a small company. To learn more about the competition and their accomplishment, go to the district website at elsegundousd.net. The El Segundo Unified School District has announced their 2015-2016 awardees for Classified Employees of the Year. Shirley Taylor, Maureen Jennings, Joji Remsberg, and Pedro Gonzalez were recognized for their outstanding service to the schools, staff, and students. For each school site, four teachers were also named Teachers of the Year. Dana Lund, Christine Quinn, Cheryl Charney, and Rebecca Wright were also recognized for their outstanding service to their school. To read about the awardees and why they were selected, go to the El Segundo Unified School District website at El Segundo USD. Net. The Summer Academy is right around the corner. Registration opens on March 23rd and the first session begins June 13th. 
To view courses being offered, go to the Ed Foundation website at esedf.org. The El Segundo Chevron Refinery places the highest priority on employee and surrounding community safety. For precautionary reasons, the alarm system throughout the refinery provides audible notifications to alert of a possible emergency. The city of El Segundo utilizes the Everbridge mass notification system for citizens and is activated by the El Segundo Police Department providing emergency notifications to businesses and residents via listed phone numbers. To sign up for this free alert system, go to the city website at elsegundo.org, click on Departments, Emergency Management, and then on Alert and Warning Systems or visit the link provided. Well, that's all for today. Remember, you can keep up with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter by searching El Segundo TV. Thanks for watching Your City, Your News. I'm Michelle Mizell-Archer. We'll see you next time.